Welcome. This is item number eight from the release 2000, spring 2014 test items for the TCAP seventh grade math test. So the question says a package of eight pencils contains only the colors yellow and green. The ratio of the number of yellow pencils to the number of green pencils in the package is five to three. What is the percent of the pencils in this package? Now in previous videos I talked about identifying something as a proportion, proportion using the idea of two, three, fourth, which means there's two concepts or items so I'm going to put concepts here. There's three numbers and I'm looking for a fourth number. Now my ear, my eyes kind of perked up a little bit because I saw one, two, three numbers. So here, here, and here. This is looking like a proportion. Unfortunately it fails. This checks off but it says two concepts. So I have yellow pencils is one, green pencils is two, but you'll notice it says a package of eight pencils, that would be eight total pencils. So that would be three items, so it's not a proportion, just there it is. Instead we're going to have to do something else. We're actually going to use a ratio to make that happen. In order to get this question correct, you need to think about it a little bit. Say you've got this package of crayons or whatever, um, and there's eight in it total. The ratio of the number of pencils to the number of green pencils yellow over green. If you see the ratio of, the thing that comes first would be on top, so yellow and then the part after it would be green because there's a bunch of ways to write that ratio. There's um, yellow to green, there's yellow colon green, and there's yellow over green. And they apply a number to it. So they say that the yellow to green is really 5 to 3. Or if you wanted to do it as a ratio or fraction style, it's 5 to 3. Either way you want to deal with it is how you deal with it. Now, that's the ratio in a package that contains 8. Well, you'll notice conveniently that 5 plus 3 is 8. So they're telling you about every single one in there. You don't have to scale it up or scale it down, which is kind of nice of them to do, I'm going to be honest. So based on this, I know that there are five yellow pencils, two, three green pencils. They want to know what percent of pencils in the package are yellow. So what we need to do is sort of what we did before, if you've seen any of the other videos, what we'd done before when we dealt with uh, probability. So I want to pull a pencil. What's the probability of doing pencils? So I have a total, and we'll kind of use the old what you want over all you've got. And once again, sorry English teachers or any teachers or any Engl person who's into English, I know it's not all you've got. That's terrible English. It's all you have, but I put it in there because it has like that st the, a little bit of sound uh, that brings it into you know meme territory. What you want over all you've got. So what I want is yellows. So there are five yellows. So on top of my fraction, I'll make that. All I've got, I've got eight total. Now, what do I need to do with this to make it into a percent? There's two parts to it. The first is to divide 5 by 8. And you could do it by hand if you want. I'm not going to here. Just save myself the time just to make this video shorter. So I'm just going to go in with whatever calculator I'm using. If you don't have this one, just adjust. adjust. So 5 divided by 8, and that gives me 0.625. Now, I just need to convert this to a percent, and for me, the most important time in a school universe where you use percentage is when you're talking about your grades. So, uh, you made a 34%, that's bad. You made a 98%, that's good. So, this is based on what the best score you could make without bonus points, which is, of course, 100%. So what I'm going to do is take this 100, multiply it by this decimal, and it's going to give me my final answer for my problem. If I could get this to erase, that would be even better. So now that I have this, I'm going to multiply it by the most points I can make on a test without bonuses, times 100.
and my final percentage is 62.5 percent. There you go right there. So the thing about this question is that the reality, I, I get the thing about this question is that it looks a little bit like a probability question. So if you've watched some of the other videos, it seems like this is probably probability, but it's actually not because it doesn't meet the two, three, fourth criteria. From there, you'll just have to think about, okay, if I want to know what percent, well, percent is a probability idea. So if you can loop those two together a little bit, uh, or link them together anyway, you'll be in good shape because the process is the same. Find your total, put on top of the fraction, what you want on the bottom put all you have or all you've got because it goes what you want over all you've got sounds a little bit more you know gimmicky and uh, then you'll just reduce the fraction by dividing you'll turn it into decimal that kind of thing and then from there to turn it into a percent you just multiply by the number of points that you can have on a test without any bonuses because it's 100 percent so you multiply by 100 get 62.5 percent and that's it so question really isn't that hard uh, once you get your head around it try a couple things. I would honestly write this part of it out. Uh, I don't know if I'd write all of the stuff out that I wrote. Some of it you didn't need. I was just making the explanation. But choose what you need, but just typing stuff into the calculator, doing like 8 times 5 divided by 3 or some other nonsense. No. Write down what you're seeing. You probably want to write, maybe you want to write 8 total over 5 preferred, or you might want to write what you've got over all you've, what you want over all you've got, that kind of thing and then solve it out. But whatever you need to do to get your brain going, that way you use the be make the best score that you can on the test. Because if you're already taping, taking it, you might as well get the benefit of doing well on it. Um, and then show them that it wasn't worth your time and you're better than them. So that's it.